And about a week ago, we did a quick story on some stone steps found along Warm Springs Avenue. Carriage stones, they're called, and they were for people's ease of getting into horse-drawn carriages before cars came along. Anyway, those steps sparked this question from Steve last week. On the face of Lucky Peak Dam, where it says, keep Idaho green, there are steps, all different lengths going across the dam. What are these steps for, Steve asks. Thanks for letting us know. And, of course, he addressed it to the two of which you like to do. We're going to accept what we assume is his autocorrect spelling of the word dam, first of all. But we won't accept his interpretation of what it says on the face of Lucky Peak Dam. It's not keep Idaho green, but it's keep your forest green. It's part of the Gubriff campaign of the 1950s. What's a Gubriff? Well, that's a question we answered a couple years ago, and you can find that answer at KTVB.com. But what about Steve's question about those steps? Construction began on the Lucky Peak Dam in 1949, funded by the Flood Control Act of 1946 to, well, control flooding along the Boise River. Basically, piles of dirt were rolled and packed more than 250 feet above the stream bed. Just 30 feet wide at the top, it's much wider toward the bottom. It was dedicated in June of 1955, a dam well built to hold more than 260,000 acre feet of water. So how does the dam do that? How can the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers make sure it's all still holding strong? Well, that's where these steps come in. Maintenance workers use those steps to conduct weekly and monthly inspections. So do they just climb down and look for leaks? Well, no. Inside the dam, there are these pressure points, what they call piezometer wells. The Army Corps of Engineers tells us these wells monitor the water table in specific areas of the dam, and those steps? Well, they only need to go as far as those wells. And so far? So well, as we learned a couple of years ago, even after a 6.5 magnitude quake centered in central Idaho and felt as far away as Boise, the 67 year old earthen dam is holding together well, pretty damn well. You know, we did a story about the status of Lucky Peak's structure after that quake, and the Army Corps of Engineers says it is solid and it is safe. They tell us in addition to those weekly and monthly pressure point checks, they do a formal inspection of the dam every five years, finishing the last one back in 2019. At the time of its construction, Lucky Peak Dam cost roughly $19 million to complete, which would be about, well, about $220 million, more than $220 million in today's dollars. And accordingly, it's been money well spent because apparently the Lucky Peak Dam has stopped nearly $2.4 billion in flood damages since 1961, and no doubt due to those steps.